Here's a 1986 Detroit Black Journal interview with then Republican candidate for governor, William Lucas. The Republican Party, its policies, Ronald Reagan. Not what a majority of black people will necessarily identify with. As a matter of fact, while you were in Cobo Hall with the president, as you know, there were close to a thousand people out front of Cobo Hall that day led by John Conyers uh, protesting the, the Republican policies and your affiliation with the Republican Party. What did you think about that? Well, I thought that there were 8,000 people inside of Cobo Hall with Bill Lucas and the President of the United States and maybe five or six hundred outside uh, with Mr. Conyers doing exactly what this system of ours allowed them to do, protest peacefully, no problem. The majority, though, of those thousand outside were black. Are you afraid that, and you yourself have said you don't agree with Ronald Reagan 100%. You don't agree with his policy on South Africa. There are other things that you differ. Are you afraid that most blacks won't be able to see you as an individual and won't be able to move that aside? No, I'm not. I thought that I've been in this community for well over two decades. I've served the people of this community as an independent, as a man. I left the Democratic Party to continue that independence. And I don't think most people who know anything about me or have heard about me or who have voted for me believes that I'm going to have to follow anybody's policy. I've said so repeatedly and I mean it. 